Los Angeles County public health officials, in consultation with the county's top education official, said Monday, July 13, that the county's school campuses may reopen to students wholly or in part in the fall, leaving the tough decisions ultimately to local officials. The announcement came shortly after Los Angeles Unified School District Superintendent Austin Boitner said schools in that district, the nation's second largest, would not open classrooms with in-person instruction this fall amid a worsening pandemic. Right now, all 80 of our districts have plans in place to ensure there is not a spread of this virus, said County Superintendent of Schools Deborah Eduardo during remarks at a midday briefing on the coronavirus pandemic. Right now our plan is to focus on prevention and ensure our students and our staff are well trained and understand the importance of maintaining those protocols. The county released on Monday new guidance that schools must follow should they choose to reopen, including containment and response plans. As of Monday, the decision would be left up to school districts individually. But that could just as well change from one day to the next, officials acknowledged, given the nature of the pandemic so far. The guidance, while eagerly awaited for weeks, comes with important caveats at the top, namely that it's based on expectations that conditions will permit widespread return to in-person K-12 education for the 2020-21 school year. During Duardo's statement Monday, she did not offer any reason why campuses could not reopen as long as safety protocols were in place such as physical distancing and face coverings. LACO does not have statutory authority over districts other than financial oversight and policy guidance. Our goal is to bring students back to school as safely as possible, Duardo said. We know that young people learn best in the classroom engaged with their teachers and friends. While we are eager to reopen schools, the health and safety of students, staff and teachers must come first. County Public Health Director Barbara Ferrer said the new protocols did not mean the county was specifically suggesting schools reopen within class instruction, but the guidance does offer the ability to do so if local officials choose to do so. The decision to reopen campuses should be guided by each school district, considering levels of community transmission and what the science tells us about the risk, Ferrer said though she offered no specifics into what thresholds might trigger such a consideration. Given the need to consider the level of community transmission, every school district and family must be prepared for the possibility that schools do not reopen as originally planned, Ferrer said, calling the situation a difficult and sobering reality. When schools do reopen, Ferrer said to expect the experience will be much different with distance learning continuing to be a component of the curriculum.